ladies and gentlemen, as an expert group of detectives, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out the name of an actual venue from a list of 10 clues. Once you figure out the name, I want you to write it down on a secret ballot. If all the ballots are correct, the ACME organization will pay for everyone in this room to go see it. When traveling in this country, due to the high temperatures, sweat will roll off your face like a dripping faucet. Therefore, leave your trench coats and hats at home. Clue number one. This is a natural wonder. It is not a man-made structure. And as you approach this place, when you're 50 kilometers away, the distance from here to Milton, you will see clue number two. It will look like a, pot of, a pocket of smoke up in the sky, although it's not a volcano. When you are 40 kilometers away, the distance from here to Stratford, you will hear clue number three, a noise that sounds like a wind screaming through the trees with no wind. When you arrive, your job is to repel down the face of this bend. Clue number four, you will need 108 meters of rope to make it safely to the bottom. If you have rappelled down the highest point of City Hall, you would have used 54 meters of rope. When you make it to the bottom, you will discover clue number five, and that is to walk along the entire length of this natural venue. And you will walk 1.7 kilometers. But beware, along the path, you may encounter crocodiles. <laughs> Your first five clues. If you can speak the local language, clue number six will be very useful. The locals call this place Mozi Oyatanya, the smoke that thunders. For a long time, the local people were too afraid to go near Mozi Oyatanya. But if they had only overcome that fear, they would have seen clue number seven. A magnificent and majestic rainbow of spectacular colors. And if you like history, you'll like clue number eight. David Livingston, the first European explorer to discover this place, he was a missionary for Jesus Christ, a medical doctor, a scientist, and a political leader against slavery. In fact, he's a national hero in this part of the world for his work against slavery. When he first discovered this place, he gave it a name. And that's the name I'm looking for. It was a name after a British royal. David Livingston traveled to this place along Africa's fourth largest river, Clue number nine, the Zambezi River. In order to avoid from being shredded to death by the territorial hippo, the most feared animal in this part of the world, a 
And I know this from experience because I too have traveled this river. As you travel the river, you have to tap the side of your boat to make a noise until the downstream hippo raises its head. And then you proceed to go around that territory. And when you're around, you tap again until the next downstream hippo raises its head. And if that's not enough of a thrill for you, clue number 10 is at this venue, you can bungee jump 100 meters, one of the highest bungee jumps in the world. And you can whitewater raft, one of the longest and most challenging single day whitewater rafting runs the world has to offer. I have done both of these and I can attest, I can attest that there will be moments when your heart will stop. <laughs> Due to the excitement. <laughs> Here is your list of ten clues. There's a lot on the line. A trip to this venue is at stake. Now, carefully. Write down on your secret ballot the name that David Livingston gave to this magnificent and majestic place. Thank you.